today we will discuss random walk on graph in last few videos we discussed machine learning with graph using network x library let we see that we are having the graph g having the vertex v and h e and we see that the object is placed at the vertex v j at each state the object must move to the adjacent vertex that can be a v i so, so the probabilities that it move to the vertex v i is 1 divided by when we are having the vertex is at at j when object is at the vertex v j and it move to the v i what is the probability its probability is 1 divided by the degree of vertices j right so in this way it will move so that will be a degree. Let's see that update is having the two different neighbors. So vertex is having the two different neighbors. So its probability is one by two. If we are having the three different neighbors, so the probabilities of the update to move any specific vertex is one by three. So let we see that how the random walk will work. In random walk, we see that initially we have a list available. In that one list we have to randomly select the node so when we select the node then we have to identify what should be the range of our random walk algorithms then based on that one range it will move and and it will work let's see our here let explain it with the example here we see that random walk on graph in uh, python we need the library that we are having the network x import network x as index import numpy and import randoms we need these three libraries so first initially we are having the list of the nodes we see that we are having the a b c d e f g h i j and k we are having these nodes are there then we are having the list of the edges we see that a to b a to c b to d b f c d and these are the list of the edges are available so we are having different edge are available and different nodes are available and let me see that we are having the graph g dot nx dot graph so we will have the empty graph now in this one graph we have to add the nodes in edge so g dot add nodes from v and g dot add edge from e so we are having the different type of the nodes that we have to add it into the graph g and we have to add the edge to the graph that is from the edge list that is the e now after that one we have to draw the graph so using draw the graph in x dot draw and we are having the g is the graph with label if you want to show it over here let here node labels uh, and node color we want we are using it over here the red and we say that node size that is the 1000 so when we draw this one we are having this one graph is here initially let me say that we want to create over here or we want to apply it over here the random walk so for the random walk we have to create it over here one function so for that one function we see that we need the random walk initially we have to select one node and that we have to store it into the random walk list let i am using it over here random random walk list over here and that we said that initially we I am selecting it over here list in list I am selecting the node A. This one is only one node in this one list. So we have to identify that what should be the length. Let me say that length of this one should be let we say that length of walk should be let we say there's a five different node at like for the simplicity purposes we are selecting it only three so initially we are having the a node that is here in the random walk after that one we have to check the neighbors of a so how we may be able to check the neighbors of a so when we say we are using the pythons so we have to use uh, the graph is uh, over here with the g and j dot neighbor and neighbors of a it will display so we have to display what are the different neighbors node of a so that we have to store it over here in the temp so in temp we see that we are having the neighbors of a that will be so here element is there a the neighbor of this one are b and we are having the c 
now when we select the neighborhood then so we have to subtract the temp to the we are having the random walk list so when we subtract it is here we are having the remaining elements are here in the temp we have to when we subtract it over here temp minus random walk so what will be happened we will have over here so new temp value will be here in temp we are having abc and random walk we are having the a so we will have here abc minus a so we will have only b and c now from b and c we have to select now this one list is temp is not empty temp is not zero if it is zero then we have to break it over here now this one is not empty so what we have to do we have to select the randomly select the new nodes that we said we are select it randomly select the node c when it select the node c so that node will be added into the list this one list so next one will be here a c now next node we will have the c over here after that one when we are here at the c it will check the neighbors of the c so what are the neighbors of c that will be stores in the temp so in temp we will have the neighbor of the c are here c a and we have the d so when we are having these neighbors are there so what will be happened over here it will check that temp minus random walk so temp when we are using it over here temp minus random walk so in temp we are having c a d and random walk we are having the a c remaining will be here just a d so we have to randomly select one node so using the random dot choice so that will be the we have a node is here d now we have to add it over here in this one list now we have to check the neighbors of d so neighbor of the d are what are the different neighbors of d neighbors of the d are c b e so we have to mention it over here neighbors of the d are c one second one is a b next one e then next one we have a h and next one we have a g these are the neighbors of the c so as what we said it's uh, we are although we are already here at the length three let me increase it over here of four that will be the last one so we have to temp minus uh, random walk so in temp we are having the d c b e h g and here we are having the a c so just uh, we have to remove the c from the list uh, so c will not be there so all the other will be here uh, so uh, c and d will not be here so we will have the b e h and g in the list b e h and g let we are selecting it over here from the list randomly that it will select the randomly using this one random dot choice this one it will select the b so b will be added over here now it's we are we reach at the maximum length then loop will be terminated so th that is a way uh, to execute the random walk to find the different list of the neighbors and apply the random walk over here now how we may be able to use uh, the over here one uh, python function for the random walk so we have now we have to define the python function over here and let's see how we may be able to implement random walk so, so let's we set a def random walk this one is our function in this one function we said that we are having the uh, different uh, uh, parameters the first one we are having the graph that would be the g that that i'm using it over here in graph and uh, next one we have to use it over at the node we have uh, in walk length now in next one we have to uh, use it over here a random walk or walk 
so for the random walk we want to use it over here let me say in random walk in this one list we are using it over here the node initially we are having only node over here in the random walk list and next we have to use it over here for i and we say that range and the range we say that walk length minus one So here we are having the walk length and this one walk length minus 1. So that will be uh, our uh, complete walk will be there if we are having the 4, 5, how many elements are there. So next one we have to use it over at the temp. And temp we said that we have to use it over at the list and we are having the graph. Drop dot we have to select the neighbors so how we may be able to set the neighbors neighbors and uh, for neighbors of which one neighbors we have to neighbor of the nodes we have to select it over here now we have to use it over here again temp and in temp we say that we are having the list and in this one list we said that we have to subtract temp minus uh, random walk so we so we must have a unique value that are not in the random walk so set of temp minus we said that a set of random walk or walk if uh, we see that we have temp that equal to zero so break if not then what we have to do we have we have a new node that we have to assign it to the random walk so for that one we have to use it over here the a random library or random function random dot choice and here we have to use the temp now we have to this one new node that will be randomly selected over here so from the temp so we have to add this over here in the r walk so how we may be able to add it over here r walk random walk dot append and we have to add the new node over here and return or work let's execute this one it's executed successfully let's see that uh, if we are having the random walk is here we are starting it from we are starting it from the let for the graph we already have the graph g graph name is here we, if we check it over here g that is a graph and uh, next one we have to select the node what should be a nodes so here we say that's a node is a and for the walk we say that's a six just execute it okay uh, sorry we so we are having the graph a so something is wrong in the code let me recheck it over here it said that the list index out of range so here we said that we are having the or work that is a node for i in range walk length minus uh, one temp we have list graph dot neighbors and we have the nodes fine and then we have the temp that is a list 
set temp minus set or work run work fine and if temp dead equal to zero then uh, break new node equal to random dot choice temp or work dot append and node oh as we didn't assign it over here the node now we have to assign it over here the node sorry node should be over here the new node so when node is the new node over here so new, new node will be assigned to the r work so let execute again so here if we say that we are having the graph g and we are starting with the a of the length 4 if we are starting from the b let's see so we will have the a to c then d then b that we are starting from b and and length is here the 5 execute it so here start it from the b just check it out start from b b to uh, b to then it move to the over here uh, then first it move to b to d and then d to h then h to it move to the i and from i to it move to the f so this one is the random work then again if we want to use it over here the a and uh, if you want to use it over here, the length is 6 so execute it so here a to b b to so it start from a a to b then b to f and then f to e then you can see it over here e to h and h to it move to the g that is a complete procedure for the random work thanks for watching the video